Inside the shadow of Geneva, under the world's floor, lies a wonder of human inventiveness and a likely harbinger of destruction, the beast known as the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. It is a marvel of expert evaluation, allowing specialists to examine subatomic particles and leading to the discovery of the God particle, the Higgs boson. Recently, renowned physicist Brian Cox made a chilling declaration that sent waves of astonishment through the philosophical community, something significant has been explored at CERN, something that could have implications far beyond our understanding. Has our primary goal of illuminating and enlightening diversity set us on a collision course with catastrophe, compelling us to plunge into the abyss of this emerging problem? Before diving into the ramifications of Cox's statement, it is crucial to understand what the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is. Operated by CERN, the LHC is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's most powerful atom smasher. It represents the zenith of human achievement, capable of replicating the conditions of the universe's creation. This giant structure allows us to unlock the mysteries of the universe, revealing something even more significant, and possibly unsettling. Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations, encompassing 23 member states and a vast array of specialists. It serves as a center for collaboration and advancement. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is only one part of a vast network of accelerators and detectors that probe the subatomic world. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, recreating the energy present during the Big Bang. The resulting collisions generate temperatures millions of times hotter than the sun's core. A complex system of magnets guides the protons on their journey, while advanced cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The LHC's design is an engineering marvel, operating deep underground to shield against massive radiation. The entire ring is cooled to a temperature lower than the vacuum of space, essential for the superconducting magnets to function. Collisions occur at four points along the accelerator ring, each corresponding to one of the four primary particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. These detectors capture the aftermath of the impacts, enabling scientists to sift through the debris in search of the elusive Higgs boson, a particle central to our understanding of the universe's structure. This process is akin to piecing together a grand cosmic jigsaw puzzle, with each fragment offering new insights into the nature of the universe. The LHC is not merely a scientific instrument, it is a testament to human creativity and ambition. It symbolizes our quest for knowledge and our desire to comprehend the fundamental forces shaping the cosmos. However, as we push the limits of our understanding, we must also grapple with the moral and existential questions that emerge. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our pursuit of knowledge unwittingly unleash forces beyond our control? Inside CERN's hallowed halls, where the frontiers of human understanding are constantly expanded, a discovery has emerged that has sent shudders through even the most experienced researchers. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a respected figure in particle physics, recently made a statement that has both captivated and unnerved the scientific community. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a small-scale version of the Big Bang, the event that gave birth to our universe. Cox also emphasized the potential outcomes of this mission, noting the LHC's unprecedented ability to create new phenomena, including unlocking the mysteries of the Higgs boson and exploring dark matter, a substance that constitutes much of the universe. The possibility of recreating a miniature Big Bang is not merely theoretical, it is a tangible reality within the LHC. The conditions inside the collider mimic those of the universe's birth, allowing scientists to observe the origins of existence itself. However, with such power comes immense responsibility and potential risk. Consider the 1978 incident involving Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pratvino, Russia. A malfunction caused his head to intersect with a proton beam, leading to severe injuries. Bugorsky survived and continued his work, underscoring both the power and dangers inherent in particle accelerators. The risks associated with an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for unforeseen reactions and the manipulation of the very fabric of reality are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by esteemed researchers. One of the most significant fears regarding the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating miniature black holes. These regions of spacetime possess such strong gravitational forces that not even light can escape. If the LHC were to generate such a phenomenon, even on a small scale, it could theoretically begin consuming the Earth from the inside. However, certain scientists have assured the public that any black holes produced would evaporate instantly. To understand how the LHC might create a black hole, one must first grasp the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. 
When protons collide at near light speeds, the energy is so intense that it could distort spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut with a massive weight dropped onto it, the surface would warp, and if the weight were heavy enough, it could create a hole. This analogy illustrates the LHC's potential to generate a gravitational anomaly. This fascinating yet alarming possibility has drawn attention from notable physicists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his research, Hawking warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels, potentially triggering a catastrophic vacuum decay, an unimaginable event that could annihilate the universe. Renowned cosmologist Sir Martin Rees has also expressed concerns about particle accelerator experiments, including those conducted at CERN. In his book on potential future threats to humanity, Rees revisited the risks posed by particle smasher experiments, including the creation of vacuum instability, which could set off a phase change echoing through spacetime and causing a disaster of unprecedented proportions. While these scenarios remain highly speculative, even the slightest probability warrants caution. The stakes are enormous, and the margin for error is razor thin. CERN's experts have meticulously evaluated the risks associated with their experiments and have implemented extensive safety protocols to mitigate potential dangers. However, scientific inquiry inherently involves some uncertainty, especially when exploring uncharted territory. The pursuit of knowledge has always carried risks, yet it is this very willingness to push boundaries that has driven human progress. The LHC embodies the culmination of decades of scientific advancement and global cooperation. But beneath its magnificent surface lies a domain of profound scientific inquiry, laden with potential hazards and ethical dilemmas. The Collider's primary mission of unraveling the mysteries of particle physics has led to groundbreaking discoveries, including the elusive Higgs boson. However, the enormous energies unleashed within its confines also raise concerns about the potential for devastating consequences. While strict safety measures are in place to reduce risks, the possibility of catastrophic events, such as the creation of miniature black holes or other unforeseen phenomena, cannot be entirely dismissed. As scientists push the boundaries of our understanding, it is crucial that they do so with an acute awareness of the potential consequences and a commitment to transparency and public discourse. As we delve deeper into the complexities of CERN's Large Hadron Collider and the scientific endeavors it represents, it becomes increasingly evident that the pursuit of knowledge is not without its dangers and uncertainties. The LHC, with its unparalleled capabilities and potential for extraordinary revelations, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of understanding the fundamental laws of the universe. However, beneath its awe-inspiring exterior lies a realm of critical scientific inquiry, fraught with potential risks and ethical considerations. The experiments conducted within the collider's vast framework harness forces and energies beyond the comprehension of most laypeople. The collisions of subatomic particles at nearly light speeds recreate conditions similar to those that existed during the universe's earliest moments, allowing scientists to examine the fundamental building blocks of matter and probe the very fabric of spacetime itself. Yet the immense energies involved in these collisions also pose significant risks, both known and unknown. One of the most pressing concerns regarding the operation of the Large Hadron Collider is the potential creation of miniature black holes or other exotic phenomena that could have unpredictable consequences. Although theoretical calculations suggest that any black holes produced would be fleeting and pose no threat to Earth or its inhabitants, the prospect of inadvertently unleashing forces beyond our control remains deeply unsettling. Moreover, the sheer scale and complexity of the experiments conducted at the Collider necessitate rigorous safety protocols and careful oversight to mitigate any potential dangers. The global community of scientists and engineers responsible for the LHC's operation is acutely aware of the tremendous responsibility they bear. The LHC provides scientists with a unique opportunity to reproduce the conditions of the early universe, mere moments after the Big Bang. This enables them to study the Higgs boson and other fundamental particles. The Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, was hypothesized in 1964 by Peter Higgs and others as a crucial component of the standard model of particle physics. This model describes the fundamental forces and particles that constitute the universe. 